I recently saw the new video by JV Schultz where he covers his ultra focus iPhone setup and I actually have a somewhat similar setup going for myself but it differs in a couple of places and yeah I thought it might be interesting for you to check this setup out as well so without too much rambling I think we will just go straight into it okay so let's just start off with the device itself so the uh, iPhone model that I'm using is the iPhone SE. This is the 2022 model. And I do think that this is a pretty superior iPhone model. This has the same form factor as the iPhone 7 and 8. And it includes the physical home button, which is super sick. And uh, yeah, I prefer Touch ID over Face ID. So getting this is super nice. Also, the screen is a lot smaller compared to other devices so even the iphone mini series with the 12 mini and 13 mini has a bigger display than this actually and uh, yeah i kind of like keeping the display small now i did actually have an iphone 13 mini before and that size was also super sick because the total length of the phone was actually a bit shorter than this because here we have both of the chins up at the top and at the bottom. But anyways, I really like the form factor. I am using it with a screen protector and a case actually. And that's because my previous phone, the 13 mini, got bent when I fell on my skateboard and had it in my pocket. So yeah, no, not good. And now I want to keep this for many years. One more thing to note about the iPhone SE is that it has a pretty shit camera only one lens and it's not very good but you know what I really like it because I carry an external camera always in my pocket this is the Ricoh GR3 and uh, yeah I don't really use my phone as a camera I think it's more fun to carry an external camera so that's that and now on to the actual setup so the wallpaper as you can see is a wallpaper of an old Nokia phone with a T9 keyboard I just think this looks pretty sick I've seen some people have a wallpaper of an old iPod as well that's also super nice but yeah I think it's time to actually jump into the phone and see all the apps so going in we have a new wallpaper this is the runescape inventory and it has all of my apps and as you can see i only have two apps on this screen so i have the wallet app for apple wallet which i've been trying recently and actually i've been kind of liking it and then I have my own app that I am working on at work, Ushunokern, which is, uh, yeah, what I do for work. So looking at this, you can see I've tried keeping it very minimal. And also at the bottom, I have my phone and messages. Then uh, if we go ahead and swipe to the left, I have one widget on this device. So this is for the bus and trams and uh, whatnot in Oslo. And uh, yeah, other than that, this phone only has communication and utility apps. So one great tip I have for you, if you want to be more mindful on your phone usage, is to delete all social media apps, including YouTube, YouTube, which you might be watching this video on and also you should disable Safari so if you see right now I can search for Safari but I can't open it and also in stuff like messages if I try to open a link doesn't work and this is great because it forces you to do all of your web stuff on a computer which I think is a lot better so I'll go ahead and show you how to set this up now so if we jump into the screen time uh, page on the phone you can go into content and privacy restrictions you can find allowed apps and features and in here you can disable Safari so this is a great hack on how to use your device less and uh, yeah I really recommend uh, doing this other than that I only have a bunch of boring utility apps I think that the phone itself is a pretty bad device for most things I think there's only a couple of fields where a phone excels that's in navigation playing music and uh, communication so everything else I try to not keep on this device actually but do on the computer instead but I do have a couple of cool apps like this one Mobilite this is from my friend who created a uh, app showing how to do stretches recommend go download it <laughs> and uh, yeah that's basically it I have SoundCloud Spotify and the Norwegian radio app and boom 
that's it. And you know what? I'm also using Apple Maps on this uh, device instead of Google Maps. I don't have any Google products anymore. And uh, although I find Apple Maps being a bit worse than Google Maps, it still uh, works like uh, good enough. So yeah, that's basically all of uh, the things on my phone. And uh, yeah, closing thoughts. I think it's super nice to be a bit more aware of what you use your phone for. And for me personally, I really prefer using the computer for all of my tasks and keep the phone as light as possible. And uh, yeah, that's coming from me. I work as an app developer and I don't really like apps too much. So yeah, be a bit uh, conscious on how you use your phone, everyone. And lastly, before I forget, I've actually begun sourcing out parts for a phone build, somewhat like this image I'm showing you of the Zero phone. So I really want to create my own phone from scratch and include only the essential tools that I use personally, that stuff like Spotify, some sort of maps, and also SMS and calling and stuff. So if you're interested in seeing the progress on that project, I am posting project updates on my Patreon account, which will be linked in the description below. And also join my Discord, everyone. Okay, see you in the next video.